I'm Haley and I'm a student at the University of Wisconsin. Today we're at the UW Makerspace with DigiKey's Summer Break Edition. For my project, I created a GPS logging dog harness. For this project, you'll need a micro USB cord, some conductive thread and sewing needles, the Flora main board, the Flora sewable GPS, a sewable coin cell battery holder and battery, a battery pack and three AAA batteries, and some clear nail polish. I've gone ahead and sewn together the Flora main board along with the Flora sewable GPS with some conductive thread. To do this, you just have to connect the RX of the sewable GPS with the TX of the main board and then vice versa with the RX of the main board and the TX of the sewable Flora GPS. Then just connect both three volts to one another and both grounds with your sewable conductive thread. Next, we want to make sure that our GPS is working. To get the proper software we need, go to the Adafruit Flora wearable GPS website. Click through the website until you get to your program Flora page. Then click the download Adafruit GPS files. This will get you a zip folder. Make sure you move this folder into your Arduino library. Once the folder is in there, your GPS files should be working. But if you have Arduino open, make sure to quit it before you start working on your GPS. Next, we want to check our GPS. To do this, we want to plug the micro USB cord into our Flora main board. Then, you want to open up the Arduino software and run two tests. Once you're there, go into File, Examples, and down to the Adafruit GPS library. The first test we're going to look at is the GPS hardware serial echo test. Once it's up, click the right arrow to upload it to your board. Then go over to the serial monitor, which looks like a little magnifying glass. Our output might not make much sense, but we are looking for a dollar sign and GPs. Once you double check that you have that, you can exit out of this and perform the next test. For this test, go to File, Examples again, and down to the Adafruit GPS library. We are going to click on the GPS hardware serial parsing. Click the right arrow to upload this to your board. Once it's done uploading, hit the serial monitor. This is going to look for a GPS fix, making sure that you've hit a satellite and it can read your location. This can take up to 30 minutes, and it is better if you're outside and your GPS is facing towards a clear sky. Once you have a fix, make sure to double check that your location is accurate. Next, we're going to unplug from our Flora main board and sew in, using conductive thread, our sewable coin cell battery to our Flora GPS. To reinforce some of the knots, you can add some clear nail polish to the back of them. Next, we want to get ready for our walk. So what we're going to do is take our battery pack and plug it in to our Flora main board. Then, make sure your battery pack is switched to on. And we're just going to keep it in this nice, convenient pocket. We then want to check on our Flora main board and make sure our board is also switched to on. We can then plug in our micro USB and download some software onto the board so that it will start logging on our walk. To do this, we're going to go on to Arduino, hit our file examples, and go down to the Adafruit GPS library. We're going to hit Leo Locus Start and hit the right arrow for it to upload. Once it's done uploading, we want to hit the serial monitor and make sure that it says GPS Logging Start. Once that's done, you can unplug from your Flora mainboard and go on our walk. Now after our walk, we want to plug in our micro USB back into our Flora mainboard. Once we've done this, we go back into our Arduino program. Then using our Arduino software, 
go back into File, Examples, and down to the Adafruit GPS library. Then all you need to do is click on the Leo Locus Basic Dump, upload it back onto your board, and hit the Serial Monitor. The Serial Monitor will give you an output that you want to save to a text file. I'm going to be using sample.log. So now we want to upload our maps to Google Maps. To do this, Google GitHub Locus Parser. This will give you some Python files that will allow you to convert from text to a KML. Once you get to this website, hit the download file to download these files. I'm going to be using the online Jupyter Notebook to code in Python. I'm gonna click try it in your browser so you don't even need to download anything to your computer. Then click try Jupyter with Python. Once it uploads, you wanna hit the Jupyter file and click leave. This will give you your files in Jupyter. Inside this, you wanna upload all of your files. We're going to upload the ones we downloaded from GitHub as well as your text file. Mine is named sample.log. Once we do this, we want to hit New on the right side and then click Python 3 Notebook. In this notebook, we want to copy in the file we uploaded called log under dash to under dash KML. In this, we want to change the bottom that says print template to print parentheses all the words that it had in there and then in parentheses at the end. This will output a bunch of GPS coordinates that Google Maps can understand. You want to take these coordinates and save them into a text file. Once you have this, you want to go to maps.google.com. Click on the left-hand side and go to Your Places. In this, you can create a map. Under Untitled Layer, click Import and upload your new text file. Once you do this, you should be able to see your map and see where you and your dog went walking. 